Hey guys, Retired at 40. I've been wanting to build a wind turbine for a long time, and I just so happened to come across a couple things at a garage sale and an estate sale that I think will work. <laughs> Today we're going to build this. So this first thing I picked up at an estate sale for two dollars and it's brand new still in the package so the package says motor reel assembly but I looked it up and this brand is Amtec it's an Amtec motor these motors are really well known for being reused for wind turbines um, because they produce a lot, they're real torquey, they produce a lot of voltage under uh, not a lot of turning. This next thing is a small John Deere windmill and it's brand new in the box also. I picked it up at my neighbor's garage sale for 30 bucks. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to turn this into this. I think the first thing I'm going to do is put the windmill together and get it the way it should be just for a garden or whatever and then I'm going to see if I can incorporate this into it. So if you don't have a garden windmill laying around and a motor like this that's made for a turbine, these garden windmills can be had for about 60 bucks. I think you can probably find one less if you went to Harbor Freight or somewhere like that. Alright, step one's done. I just gotta figure out how to make that wind power power a motor. Okay, so if you're building one of these windmills, what you're after is a permanent magnet motor. And only certain electric motors will have the permanent magnet. But the easiest way to tell is just get a multimeter like this and go to find your DC voltage. And if I, I'll put it on 20. So if I spin this one way, I'm going to get a negative reading. And if I spin it the other way, you're going to get a positive reading. And you can see this motor is real torquey because it's getting some good voltage coming out and just I'm barely turning it. Uh, that's the kind you're after. Something that's going to produce the most power with uh, the least amount of effort. So I've marked mine. You obviously, it's only going to produce energy if it's going the right way. If you're spinning it the other way, you're going negative. If you were hooking up power to it, then it would spin that way. Otherwise, if you spin it the other way, it's actually going to produce power. So now that I got my windmill put together, I actually took the blades off and you can see this right here and I actually pulled the bearings out of it. So what I need to do next is figure out how I can get this to fit on this arbor and turn. So I need to fill this gap with something. So I think I've come up with a solution. Uh, it might be temporary depending on how it works. So I've got a champagne cork and it's been soaking in water all night just to kind of make it a little bit more pliable. And I'm going to try and fill this up. I'll probably take a mallet and hit this inside of here and then I'll let it dry and then I'm going to drill it out to the size of the arbor on this motor so it will actually slide right in there and then we're going to go from there not too shabby start with a real small drill bit and then I'm going to work my way up to this guy which is just about the same size as this arbor I do want it pretty snug because uh, when it dries up, you know, I want that to be snug on there. Key is to getting this as close to the center as you possibly can so it's not wobbling around. Okay, I've got this all fitted up and you can see how it's going to work. Alright, so I've drilled a hole through the arbor on the motor and then I drilled a hole through this 
piece in the center of the windmill. I'm going to slip that back on to the arbor and then slide a pin through it and then it won't be able to move. So when the wind starts turning the, the windmill, it will turn the motor as well. All right, here's a close up. And then I'll probably just tie these two wires, just kind of twist them together. Or I might come up with something else that just uh, some kind of pin or something, cotter pin maybe. The last thing I want to do before I mount this thing onto the stand I want to try and take this piece of PVC and make some kind of cover to cover this up just to protect it from um, wind and rain and snow and all that kind of good stuff that's just going to beat this motor up over time. So you can see I just cut this area out with a jigsaw. The diameter of this is a little bit bigger than the motor so I had to um, cut some of it up to let this thing flex a little bit. But this is going to slide right in here, just like that. And then when it sits like this, give a nice hard weatherproof cover for the motor. I wanted to add a little splash of color, so I added some red to this cover. Success.